Early in November 2025, astronomers noticed something unexpected. After months of silence, Atlas suddenly brightened. Its tail reappeared, stretching millions of kilometers through space. But this wasn't a typical cometary tail of dust and water vapor. Spectral data revealed an intense ion tail, glowing a bright turquoise color. The source? Ionized carbon dioxide, CO2 gas charged by solar radiation. This is extremely unusual because most comets emit mostly water vapor near the sun. Atlas, however, seems to contain almost no water at all. The Lowell Observatory described its glow as unnaturally cold. It reflects light in a narrow green-blue spectrum, more like a frozen metal than an icy body. Some scientists believe it's a sign of radiation damage, meaning that the comet's surface has been altered by millions of years in deep interstellar space. Then came a discovery that stunned even veteran astronomers. Images from the Pixel Skies Observatory in Spain revealed seven active jets of gas erupting from the comet's nucleus. They weren't random. They appeared symmetrically arranged, like spokes on a wheel. No other known comet has shown this level of geometric precision. Each jet shoots gas and dust thousands of kilometers outward, forming an evolving halo of bright filaments. Some experts, including Harvard's Avi Loeb, have said this could point to magnetic or rotational dynamics unlike anything we've modeled before. Others speculate that ATLAS might have an unusual internal structure, perhaps a layered metallic core fractured by ancient impacts. Whatever the reason, this symmetry is rewriting our models of comet behavior. It's almost as if Atlas isn't just reacting to sunlight, it's actively controlling how it releases material. As if that weren't enough, another milestone arrived. For the first time in history, a radio telescope has detected direct emissions from an interstellar comet. The Meerkat radio array in South Africa captured faint but clear signals. The hydroxyl spectral lines at 1665 and 1667 MHz. These are the same frequencies used to identify cometary gases in our solar system. But in ATLAS, the signal behaved differently. The waves were highly polarized, suggesting strong magnetic interactions between the comet's ionized gases and the solar wind. This means Atlas might be surrounded by its own temporary magnetic field, a feature scientists never expected to find in an object this small. It's the kind of discovery that turns speculation into new physics. If confirmed, it could explain how interstellar comets survive radiation and temperature extremes on their multi-million year journeys. And then came perhaps the most dramatic finding of all. High-resolution images from Chile and Hawaii revealed that Atlas may have fragmented, breaking into more than a dozen glowing pieces. Each fragment follows a slightly different path, creating a spectacular arc through space. Spectroscopic data from the European Southern Observatory suggests that these fragments are unusually dense and metallic. They contain nickel, cobalt, and rare elements in ratios never before seen in solar system comets. This composition hints that ATLAS could have formed near a supernova explosion, where heavy metals were forged from dying stars. If that's true, Atlas might be one of the oldest solid objects humanity has ever observed, a fossil from a star system that no longer exists. Reactions from the scientific community have been electric. Some researchers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory have called the radio detections the first heartbeat of an interstellar traveler. ESA astronomers describe Atlas as a laboratory of alien chemistry, giving us a rare look at how elements are distributed beyond our own sun. Even as AITLAS fades from visibility, data continues to stream in. Each observation, every spectral scan, every radar echo helps decode its origins and fate. The November findings confirm one thing, 3i slash AATLAS is not a typical comet. It's a messenger carrying clues about the environments where planets and life might form. It's teaching us that interstellar space isn't empty. It's alive with materials, energy, and chemistry shared across the galaxy. These discoveries will shape how future missions are designed. NASA's upcoming Comet Interceptor mission could one day target another visitor like Atlas. ESA scientists are already simulating what kind of instruments could detect similar objects before they pass by. For now, Atlas continues its journey outward, growing fainter, colder, but leaving behind the most detailed interstellar data humanity has ever recorded. It might take years to analyze everything this comet has revealed, 
but one thing is clear. Every time we look up, we find that the universe is stranger, older, and more connected than we ever imagined. Maybe Atlas is simply breaking apart. Or maybe, in a way, it's still alive, carrying fragments of cosmic history through the darkness, whispering the story of stars long gone. Whatever it is, 3i slash ATLAS has changed astronomy forever. And somewhere, far beyond the sun, this interstellar traveler continues its silent flight. A visitor from another world, reminding us how much we still have to learn. 3i slash ATLAS, the interstellar visitor changing everything we know. NASA, ESA, humanity, watching the universe learn from itself. Even after the November discoveries, 3i slash ATLAS continues to surprise us. The comet may already be fading from direct view, but in laboratories across Earth, its story is only beginning. Scientists are now dissecting terabytes of data collected from observatories on every continent. Each spectrum, each radar echo, carries new hints about its chemistry and internal structure. Teams at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and the European Southern Observatory are using supercomputers to simulate how Atlas formed, how a world like this could survive the chaos between the stars. The model suggests that ATLAS's icy core once orbited a red dwarf star, before being ejected by gravitational chaos, maybe during the birth of giant planets. That means, somewhere out there, its home system may still exist, with planets that share the same chemistry as this wandering relic. But perhaps the most exciting prospect is that we now know what to look for. Astronomers believe there could be hundreds of interstellar visitors passing through our solar system every century, most too faint to detect. With improved telescopes like the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, the next one might be found months before it even arrives. And this time, we could be ready to meet it. NASA and ESA engineers are designing a new class of rapid response spacecraft. Probes that can launch within days of discovery and intercept objects like 3i slash ATLAS before they vanish into the dark. Such missions would capture direct samples, measure magnetic fields, and maybe even photograph the surface of an interstellar comet up close. For the first time, humanity could touch something that came from another star. Meanwhile, radio telescopes like ALMA and Mir KAT continue to scan the void, searching for the same hydroxyl signals that ATLAS produced. If more objects show similar polarized emissions, it could prove that magnetic shielding is common, that interstellar bodies carry invisible cocoons protecting them from radiation. That single idea could change how we think about panspermia. 